Hey guys, welcome back to Fallout 3 for the Xbox 360. Um, before we uh, return to Moira and stuff, I kind of wanted to show you guys something. I know this is kind of off track from where we were before. At, uh, where was it at? Um, to, no, it wasn't. Well, maybe it was to Pid Sewers. I can't actually remember, but anyway, go back to the minefield, okay? And then come over here. And you can see there's an opening. Oh, okay. Randomly spawning junk, metal. <laughs> but <laughs> anyway, um, like I was saying, continue up here and you'll see a gate. It's partially broken open. Now, like, there's another entrance to this place, but this is close to, like I said, the minefield. And you just walk through here. This is the scrapyard. Now, it's nice to know scrapyard here because um, if you walk over here. I believe it yeah it's over here right here you'll see a bunch of enemies but you'll also see a friendly thing so let's see what's going on over here as you can see there's a bunch of raiders here oh shit <laughs> I wasn't expecting that whatsoever but anyway you'll see this dog attacking all these things his name is dog me I walk up to him to you and be like he'll like whimper at you or something He's like, what's the matter, boy? You lost your master? And he barks at you. He's like, I'd I be like, I know how you feel. I lost my dad. You want to come with me? It's too dangerous out here all alone. And he pants. And so, yes, now we got our first cam companion. Um, you can get other companions. There's a bunch of other ones. But the main ones I always use, because, you know, there's the main ones I just knew of and stuff, is dog meat. And there's this other guy, which I'm not going to spoil, but... I'm gonna say is he works but the only way I'm pretty sure the only way you can get him though is if you have the broken steel on map pack I'm pretty sure I'm not guaranteeing that but I'm pretty positive that's what you need and stuff but like I said I'm not totally sure but anyway the nice thing about dog meat is one you know he'll attack enemies but say if you need ammo or something and you can ask him to find cams, food. You can make him find you a weapon for anything, pretty much. Talk about a dangerous stick. <laughs> but anyway, you can, like, make him get ammo and stuff. He'll get you some ammo. He walks up back over to you. And he's like, okay, here you go. Thirteen assault rifle bullets. So, yes, that's pretty nice. Thanks, dog meat. So a little shocked how I destroyed that guy with one shot with this thing, but you know that's pretty awesome. But anyway, let's head back to Megaton now. Sorry for the delay, but I did want to show you guys that because I was just messing around. I never realized how close, like you know, I never really took a big attention to it, but I never realized how close it was, how close the scrapyard was to uh, the minefield. Because I heard to get to the scrapyard, you would have to walk through the main front entrance, and you would run into a lot of death claws. Now, death claws, if you never played this game, oh, they're living hell. At the beginning of the game, they are pretty much the worst enemy ever. Just at the beginning of the game is all I'm gonna say. But once we run into death claws, well, I'll get more into that. But anyway, back here at uh, Critter Side Supply, here, let's talk to Moira. She's like, oh, yes, I can't wait to hear the good results from the repellent. But here's the thing. You know, be like, it's, your repellent is fatal to mole rats. She's all upset about it, but, you know, thank you for helping out. So she gives us two jets and two psychos. Jets heal up, uh, I believe it's 30 action points, which is AP for short. And, uh, Psycho boosts your damage, your damage to, like, you know, from using weapons and stuff to 25% more higher, which is very helpful. But anyway, so, yeah, here we go. Last part of the thing is observing milers. I'm pretty sure that's how you say it, but not entirely. But anyway, um, yeah, you place spawning, she gives you a spawning pod, and you're supposed to put it in, like, a nest of eggs and stuff. And an optional mission objective is that you, you know, you don't kill or harm any of the, the my alerts. But you know how that is, they're gonna attack me first, so I'm gonna fight back. <laughs> but anyway, let's go to, if you would've followed me, um, we would've had this place unlocked already. 
Anchorage Memorial. Um, yeah, just go there. Uh, if you guys are wondering, like, what happened to a sidebar on the side that used to be there, I decided to get rid of them. Not all of them, but just the one main... Well, the one, you know, it's just like, you know, oh, here we go. We just play this objective thing. Do not worry, Wes's ra rating system is still there. I will bring that up whenever we run into enemies that either need the rating or already have one. I'll just bring up the end results of what I put anyway um walk in here to the Anchorage Memorial you have two ways to go the left way I just naturally go but once you go downstairs that right way hooks into the downstairs part anyway um if you walk over here to this room there is a Myler just waiting there this is what a Myler 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 whatever you want to pronounce it this is where they are the weakest squad of them a miler is their face just keep that in mind but they can also be very deadly to you if you are not careful um yeah I just kind of think I should use a different weapon thing about companions is they whoa oh shit <laughs> I didn't think he was gonna be that close to me right away. The thing is about companions is they do get injured eventually and will lose a bunch of health. And I'm not entirely sure if they regenerate their health back because I know in New Vate, uh, Fallout New Vegas, they just go unconscious. And then they will, you know, get their health back. But I don't know about this game. Because I never really experienced, you know, dog meat ever dying when I played. So, yeah. Anyway, you can grab a whole bunch of stuff here. Um, I suggest you just leave this stuff here. Because eventually once we get more schematics for custom weapons and stuff, some of those items there that are there will probably be needed to make them. Um, so those lockers are empty, desk is empty, this room's pretty empty. Let's go in here. That poor guy. Um, I suggest you pick up these free war books because in a mission later on in this, in this quest, I believe it's just, like, in chapter three, which is, we're at the end of chapter two right now, I believe. This is the last mission, or last thing for chapter two. Um, in chapter three, the, the one of the things is that you have to explore this library, okay? Um, and I'm sorry to do spoilers, but, um, you'll run into, uh, these people called the Brotherhood of Steel, and they, well, well, we'll see more of what they're about later in the game if I decide to do the quest that, one of the many quests that involve them, you know, in the thing and stuff. But anyway, um, where was I? Um... But anyway, you run into this person, and you can literally, if you find good, like, condition pre-war books, you can sell them to her, which it, it is a girl, you know, at the reception, receptionist thingy, whatever you call the front desk of the, of, uh, <laughs> of, yeah, you get what I'm saying, of the, uh, of the library and stuff. But anyway, I'm gonna see if I can hack this, give me a sec. Okay, that didn't really work out, and I don't really feel like wasting a bunch of time trying to get it and all that, because it's not totally all important. Anyway, just open up both these doors. Both these build things are connected to each other by door. Anyway, in here, you can grab darts. Those will become ammo for one of those special guns I was telling you about later, and then <laughs> poor Wastelander just chilling there dead. A Broxel cleaner will also be a part of a weapon later. One of those custom weapons. I know that just because of a fact and stuff. So, yeah. If you want, you can grab that now. If you don't, you can grab more later. Um, you may miss this. There's a floor safe right here. You need to be average. Lock picking. Just open it up. Um, you get a magazine from Dean's Electronics and a door component, which will come helpful later. That door component will be helpful in a certain spot of the 
of uh, Anchorage Memorial here. Like, there's like an underground part. And I figured out there's like a utility door or something. And I'm guessing you use that part to do it. But when I did a practice run of this, I wasn't high enough uh, repair skill, so I couldn't take advantage of it. But um, I will show it this thing. I will, or this uh, this video, I will actually show it. I'll make sure I have enough uh, repair skill to do it and stuff. I'll open up this and go up here. Well, actually, you know how I was saying it breaks into two? This is actually the next. This is the other part because there's the entrance. The place where we came in at. Uh, I'm glad I looked at my computer to make sure I postponed this tune-up thing, apparently. I'll postpone that. <laughs> but my bad, anyway. Um, So, there is a door. Yeah, it's right there. Um, we need to go into this door. Um, I'm gonna clear out all the, the my alerts in this area, and then I will show you some stuff here. Okay. But na 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 na. Oh, there's another one behind me. Oh sh. I almost like actually died there. That was a little scary. Get him! Oh, of course he comes after me! Cause I'm big and have more meat for him to eat, you know? Oh! <laughs> uh, I broke my leg. <laughs> I broke my leg. Anyway, um, yeah, I took them all out. Um, oh, I never noticed that place. I never noticed that door before. I actually didn't go in there before. But I will show you the places I did go. Legs crippled and it's hard to walk. But anyway, um, the spawning pod you can place it here if you want. That's where I always place it. Anyway, you know you got that spawning pod. Woo, we did it. <laughs> we can go return to Moira, or we can go over here. And I believe this is a cafe. Okay, it's a service entrance, but there's like a cafe, cafeteria thing here. It's kind of cool. Um, yeah, I'm gonna. <gasps> oh shit! Anyway, um, here's a Murlark Hunter. Um, these things are a lot bigger, and they have a lot more armor, too. I'm not going to be surprised if it, like, somehow, like, takes away half of, like, dog meat's health. But these things you do not want to, how should I put it, fuck around with. Okay, we'll, we'll put it that way. Especially this early in the game. I mean, like, later they're alright. But right now, they're not so much. I mean, look at that face of determination. He's like, I'm getting some food tonight. Or is he? <laughs> but I think is my other recording, I didn't run into a Merlar Hunter like I did there. So that's why it freaked me out. The reason why I freaked out is because, yeah, that's why. Because I did a practice record, or a practice playthrough and stuff, and I didn't run into one of them. So I'm a little surprised. Okay, you're dead. Oh, of course, there's another one! Ooh! This is why. I was gonna say, this is why the assault rifle was replaced by a. Or, I mean, this is why a 9mm pistol was replaced by an assault rifle. That was a nasty, critical hit. Oh, shit. Die! There we go. Alright, level 5. Yes! Um, like I said, I'm gonna bring up my. Uh, you need at least 35 for the repair. But because of that Dean's Magazine we got, um, you need 34. Unless you, uh, get the ability, like I was thinking about getting, I think I'm gonna get it now. It's called, uh, Comprehension, and it's, it makes so that, uh, hold on. It makes it so, like, when you read a book, instead of only getting one skill point, you get an extra additional one, so you get two for every book you read. Which is kind of nice, I will admit. It is very nice. Anyway, you can search through this. 
um, right here, um, look here and grab that meat, and then there's a first aid kit there, it's kind of hard to see. Holy crap, I can talk about muscular strength, I'm literally picking up this Merlor Tunner and moving it, well I was. Holy crap, I've got, i got freaking muscles, yeah! <laughs> Murder cakes. <laughs> oh, total plate. Oh well. Oh, I think I'm overweight or something. Yes, I am. Okay. Anyway, you can just search through all this stuff if you want some of it. You can grab it. But other than that, but anyway, um, that one place I was telling you about the underground thing. Uh, I believe it's down here. I think it is down here. Continue. Walk over here. There's a bunch of fridges and merlurks and stuff. Notice that the freezer is a little smaller than all the other things. After a closer inspection, there's there is a special compartment in the back. Unfortunately, it is locked and you are unable to pick it. There must be a key to open this door. So yeah, apparently there's an extra thing to that and you can open it and apparently there's a door there I never noticed that before but um like I'm starting to realize I don't think I'm going the way that I thought it was yeah I don't think I am I'm lost I'm like literally oh wow <laughs> wow it's a fail what's this oh that's where we just came in from that's where we came in from. I'm gonna walk down there. And I walked in there, so let's go up here. Hopefully find where I'm looking to go. Can't remember which it was this door I went through. Um you gotta click the switch here, it opens up. And this is the underground thing I was telling everybody about. Um you walk down here. And destroy all the murder alerts out of the way doing that. This murder alert must be very protective of its eggs because it's literally glitched. Oh shit. <laughs> I forgot about the other ones. It's literally glitched into its eggs. I can go you, you in my overrun. Indoors, outdoors, and all over town. Oh! I'm so yeah, I believe that's all of the Marlurks and stuff. Right here's that door I was telling you about that you can fix. Um, if you go to Dean's Electronics, see that's what comprehension does. Instead of it being increased by one, you can... Let's see what's in here. See if it was worth opening. Oh, uh, yeah, that'll, that'll be worth it a little bit. New cold or quantum. Um, I suggest you, you collect as many new cold or quantums as you can and not use them. Because there is a mission where you have to collect over 30 uh, new cold or quantums. Anchorage War Memorial Stash. Hmm. I have to look and see what that. There's this stash key. That key, you know how it's. You know that built. That fridge we, were, we saw? That's probably the key for it. I'm not a positive, but I'm pretty sure that's probably what it's for. So yeah, I never knew that was there. That's cool. I mean, if you would have had a pers that precipitate or that what, however you pronounce it and stuff. Um, if you uh go over here, um, yeah, this is an entrance to the capital wasteland. You can use it if you want, but I'm gonna go and explore and see what's in that fridge. But, um, I believe we're running out of time, so I think we're going to have to explore the fridge in the next episode. So, yeah, I'll see you guys next time if I can figure out where that fridge was at. I believe it was down... Okay, we'll go through here. I believe it was down here. I believe... <laughs> Sometimes you just get lost in the buildings in this game. Like, you have no joke. 
Yeah, that's the right spot. Okay. So yeah, next episode we're gonna go into the refrigerator, as weird as that sounds, but we're going into it in the next episode. So see you guys next time on Fallout 3, where we can go through the fridge. Alright, see you guys then. Ugh. Sorry, I had to make sure I didn't have one bullet remaining, it bothered me. <laughs> see ya.